everybody, today we're going to install the Extreme End Duo wireless bridge and access point, the DAP1522. Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike and I'm here to help you get more out of your network. Uh, so a couple episodes ago we talked about locking down our network to 802.11n only mode. Now what happens if you have a product that uh, is either wired or has 802.11g built into it, but you want to keep your network locked to 802.11n. Well, the perfect solution is the Extreme End Duo a wireless bridge and access point, uh, the DAP1522. Um, what's cool about this product is it's a multi-port um, 802.11n bridge or access point. So it has four ports here that you could plug wired devices into. And then on the back here, there's a little switch that you can switch it from being a bridge or an access point. Now, the access point mode would be maybe you have an older router that's 802.11g and you want to upgrade, but you have all your settings already in your 802.11g router. What you can do is you could go in and shut off the 802.11g wireless that's built into the router and just connect this into one of the ports and then you have an 802.11n wireless network. Or on the other side, maybe out in your living room, you have a game console or something like that that either is 802.11g or you don't have any wireless built into it, what you could do is you could shut off the 802.11g in the game console or other device and then plug it in here and use it as a bridge to connect to an 802.11n um, wireless network. So the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and take a look and see what's inside of the box and then we'll get it set up. Inside the package you'll find the bridge, the power adapter, some screws and plastic wall mounts in case you want to hang it, a vertical stand, some rubber feet for the stand, an ethernet cable, and the documentation. So the first thing that we're going to want to do before we install the actual hardware is remove this little plastic film from the front and the back of the bridge. If we look in the quick install guide, you'll see that the next thing that we need to do is choose which position we want to put the switch in. For this installation, we're installing the bridge, so we'll switch the switch to bridge mode. Just take and move the switch over to where it says bridge. So now all we need to do is connect up the different cables and the power um, for the bridge, and then we'll go through the installation wizard. To start, connect the ethernet cable from the DAP1522 to your router. Then connect the power adapter to the DAP1522. Now you're going to want to log into the bridge. Click the Setup tab at the top and then the Wizard button to the left. In the middle of the screen, click the Launch Wizard button. The first screen that comes up will ask you for a name for your bridge. You don't really need to change it unless you have more than one. Now you'll be asked for a password. This will be for when you log into the bridge next time. On the next screen, it's going to ask if you want to use automatic or manual setup. For this installation, we're going to use manual setup. On the next page, you're going to want to enter in the SSID of the network that you're going to connect to, or click the Site Survey button. When the list of networks shows up, select your network and then click the Connect button at the bottom. On the next page is where you will select the type of security you're going to use to connect to your wireless network. Once you click Next, you'll be asked to enter the passphrase that matches your security settings. After entering the passphrase, you'll be done. When the web UI comes back up, just click the Save Settings button. Now you'll want to disconnect the DAP1522's power. Disconnect the Ethernet cable from the router. Connect the Ethernet cable into the device that you want to add wireless networking to. Now, just reconnect the power to the DAP1522 and you're done. Well, there you have it. The easiest way to make sure that your network stays 802.11n or to add wireless to a wired device. So that's going to do it for this week on D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike and thanks for watching.